Scheduled, scheduled. Live! We are live! Hooray! Hooray! We are now live. Hooray! Hooray! We are the mad scientists. I'm the maddest one of all, Mad Frankie. This is Violet Igor, who's close behind me, <laughs> or next to me. And together, we make the mad scientist. And she's disappeared. Come back, Violet. Thank you. Oh, yes, boss. Yes, master. Yes, master. Crunk, 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 crunk. <laughs> I, had, I forgot to turn my volume off on my YouTube and we had an echo. So I oh, had, right. I well, you knew it couldn't be me because I've, I've got my headphones on. I'm a good girl. I am. There we go. Right. So today we are using <clears throat> various things. And I've got my um, protective plastic up ready. And I'm going to show you what we were doing in the dungeon with Anne and uh, Kirsten from Quirky Queens. As we went in there to have a little play date and they popped in because it turns out that uh, YouTube had told people what we were doing. So they found us out. <laughs> it was well, such fun. It really was. Okay. <clears throat> I missed what you said, Fran. I had an emergency. I had to run outside. Okay. I mean, what did you say? What, what, what did you say? Say it again. I said that uh, we did some spraying. Well, I did some spraying. Uh, other people did other things. We had a play date in the dungeon. Yes. Yes, and um, in there, uh, in popped Kirsten of Quirky Queens. And oh, I've got stuff all over me already. It's just off the plastic. And um, Anne and Violet and me. And we just had a nice little play date. We did, didn't so, we? That was fun. So this is one of the things I made in there. Isn't that beautiful? Sprays and just using a bit of card that I cut out of a piece, a piece, a piece, a piece somewhere that I have no idea where it went, but I used it. Oh, it's here. I so I cut a round bit yeah. out of it. Just used what I was using to start with was <clears throat> this little um, china pot that's broken. I was just using it as a shield for spraying. And after a bit, I realized I've got a thing to cut out. So I cut it out and it worked that way. And also you could use this as the shield. You know, so this is another one we did. I would call that it a one. mask. Yeah, so it shields the rest of it. Well, yes, that's true. <coughs> yes. That's the idea. Anyway. Mariah. So, of course. And in the background, Mariah. Let go. another one I did. <laughs> This one actually used other pieces as well. Like one of these. <clears throat> yep. Another one that used that. That one. Yeah, there you go. And then you used only square one. This one. Yep. There. And various other things. So Where one where you sprayed where I told you to tilt the paper and splatter it that way. Oh, is uh, that paper? Oh, not that one? Hi, Carrie. Oh, so kind of you. And I also found this, which is, you know, was a bit of postage. And when I cut the thing out, I realized, look, there's some naked corrugation underneath. So I opened it up and I got bits of corrugation to play with as well. Okay. <clears throat> And of course, that kit I got, um, Andy Skinner kit <clears throat> for making something, I can't remember what, mixology. Well, there's something you can spray through as well. So great. So while I was doing all that, <clears throat> has anybody said anything about the thumbnail yet? No, not yet. Nobody's asked. It's OK. Uh, it's okay. We'll just if, they there. <laughs> if they do. <clears throat> so I also uh, cut a few other things. For instance, um, I cut this using a uh, embossing, cut and emboss machine to cut it out because it was a thin die. So I've got that and a couple of others. Don't know where the other bits have gone, but I could have used that. But I also cut out some other things. 
like these two. Yeah, I like that one. So this has some lovely rough squares. I want, wanted them to be rough like that rather than square squares, you know what I mean? Because they've got raggedy edges and raggedy insides, so that's lovely. So I've got that plus the um, insert plus the ring. So I've got the, you know, the ring around the edgy. I think it's that one. There we are. So, and I did the same thing with the circles, you know, like they were coffee circles. So I've got the inners and I've got the circles as well. As well as the, uh, the rings, the inners, and the and the outers. So, options, <clears throat> lovely options. And I also did some plain circles to use as masks again. So you know, sh 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 there you go. So that kind of thing. Okay, okay, no, okay. So we've got options. So let's get some paper and some uh, sprays. Right. I mean, there are other things that you can use when you're doing printing, like these, but I don't think they're going to work out so well for this particular method. So I got myself some sheets ready. Here's one. <clears throat> Let's move all this out of the way. Otherwise, I'll be spraying things unnecessarily. No way. There's also something like that, of course. But one of those things that holds a four pack of cans of cider, scrumpy jack type thing. So. Hi, Diane. As and I this is the back of a. Off Wednesday when we played, you sprayed things. You came away with the very, their very most pretty fingers. Oh, yeah. The fingers were great. <laughs> and this I found out outside on our front. I have no idea. Was it called? guard or a I don't know something yeah and then there's this strange little knobby thing that makes quite a nice shape yes and of course when you're cutting something out of a piece of card that you sprayed you've got the piece as well <laughs> yep. so there we go yeah I'm just moving all these to one side so that I can then place them where I like Well, I'm not so sure that the really tiny one is going to be all that use. It is a little bit tiny. It's probably going to run away when you spray it. Get up and fly out the door. Very, very likely. Right. So I've got some little sprays here. I brought in some more of my cadence sprays because I rather like those. You can always use things like a feather and spray over that. End up with a nice shape if you want to. But let's start out simple, said she, having no intention of doing anything of the kind. <laughs> so let's put some shapes down. I'm going to start with these squares because I'm dying to find out how they, how they look. Of course, when you're cutting out uh, stencils, if you've got a stencil machine, then you've always got the extra bits around the edges as well. So I'm going to do all squares first. Couple more of the squares. one inside hi Paula let me just so, go down got... let's say hi Trish hi, 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 hi Uda hi Carrie hi Diane hi Paula hi to all our lurkers hi Carrie hi Paula hi Diane Hi, Trish. Mariah. 
Oh, Mariah. Yes, there's Mariah. Utah, hi. -o. Hello, Violet. Hi, Fran. Oh, there's Miriam. Hi, Miriam. Oh, hi, Miriam. Now, I've got here a one of the cadence colors, and this one is light blue. I have no idea what, what that's like. I'm now, not sure about that. You, before you start, yeah. your camera is your paper, the bottom of your paper is off camera. So you might want to adjust the, the camera because I don't think you can adjust your screen. I mean, your paper. Okay. Paper. There you are. Beautiful, beautiful. That is acceptable. Acceptable. Now, me says you're going to spray and some things are going to blow away. So we shall see. Well, we'll abandon that one. Didn't want to spray. It's clogged. That could be. Could be. I just haven't shooken it enough. Of course, some of them don't need shaking because they don't have mica in. So let's try one of them. Hi, Evie. There you go. One that didn't need it. And this, that one was, that's a Vallejo one, sunny yellow. And this one is rusty orange. Also doesn't need shaking. But I shake it anyway, just to. Oh, it's... oh, come on. Oh, come on. <sighs> come on. That's me. That's There's me. There's nothing in there to clog it. How can it be clogged? Just a, not a very good spray, perhaps. I'm going to have to relocate some of these. Oh, good Lord. All came out in just one line. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, that's better. It's freed itself up. Good. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Don't you hate it when your supplies Don't renege on you? There's just the end. Is that going to be any good? Nope. Well, it's pumping, but nothing's coming out. Nozzle alert. Squirt alert. And Carrie says, this is why I don't like sprays, but I do like my airbrush. Oh, yeah. Well, this is Stamperia, this one, so this should be a lot better. Cadence is a, a, a new lot to me. I don't think they've been around that long. I've not noticed them around for long. I think they're German or or Italian. I'm not sure. It says international London, New York, Paris, Istanbul, Moscow. Really. <clears throat> and we had so much fun playing with these oh, Wednesday. Oh, Tom. First time, Stamperia, Aquacolor. And I've never had much problem with maybe one spray of Tim Holtz. I have had, uh, it's usually just one, you know, that's playing you up. I haven't had much trouble with Lindy's. Lindy's are good ones, the dark chocolate truffle. I must put a bit of that in the corner, I think. Fran, do you have an airbrush? Um, I used to have an airbrush. It would be at the back of my summer house somewhere, and the summer house is stuffed. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, so I have a question for anyone who had an airbrush, and I'll take five different answers. If you have an airbrush, do you have to use, like, inky sprays like this or specific airbrush sprays, or can you use something like liquid acrylics or watered-down acrylic paint? Yes, but you must clean it thoroughly afterwards. Really, you've got to take it to pieces and clean it thoroughly. Um, there are some, uh, I think the high flow acrylics are made to be able to be used through an airbrush. But you've got to clean that airbrush properly afterwards because acrylic sets into a plastic. So you don't want that coming up. Oh, your yes. OK, airbrush. so what what is the cleaner? Is there a specific cleaner that you would use for it? It's a long time since I did any. Um, if uh, Kerry's got the one, perhaps ask Kerry. He'd be more up to date with that, I should think. It's a very long time. I have a Deville Bis um, airbrush, and I I would only use the proper stuff with it, the inks. So, yeah. Anyway, that's this one. So I can take these off now. And I'm liking that. 
So Paula, so it, it, as far as rinsing the equipment out properly it, and cleaning, is it? There are, there are airbrush cleaners. Airbrush. Airbrush. So, okay. All right. Because I've always wanted one too. Every There's got also one. airbrush medium, which I use as a sort of watering down thing for acrylics. It's a whole. Um, here we go again, down a rabbit hole. I'm already starting yeah. a new project. And, oh, my. Either way. Everybody else will follow, including me. Trending. Yeah. So, starting again, we've now got color on all of these. So, why not use some of it? No, we have a, we have a new store that opened in town. It's like half a mile, if that, away from my house. And it's called Harbor Freight. If you live in the U.S., you know what Harbor Freight is. Yes, I know what it is, yes. Yeah, and um, I okay. went in there to get a tub for a new bird bath, and I happened to do a little walk through the crafty area, and I saw an airbrush, and I'm like, hmm, do I need another? Do I need another? Hmm, because <laughs> I've always wanted yeah. to play with them. Yeah. I've seen them used on to do T-shirts for doing fabric sprays to make T-shirts and, you know, stuff like that. But I, I wasn't looking for that. I just want to play. I just want to yeah. like, spray anything. Well, what, I did, what I did with mine, I mean, I'd seen a lot of work done like book covers, uh, art for book covers done with an airbrush. And I thought, ooh. So I got an, an airbrush and um, I did create a very – Ra really rather nice rose by using um cutting the design out of sticky back plastic and putting it onto the uh board canvas not not the bumpy canvas that is on a frame but a canvas board right i have that then sprayed over the bits i wanted removed a piece sprayed on that bit let it dry, put the piece back in position, and then you take another piece and spray that the way you want it. But it was laborious and took a long time. I dare say there are other ways of doing these things these days, but that's what I did then. So, Carrie, so that was my yeah, I, I'm going to listen to Carrie because I, yeah, because I just trust him. He's, he's right. also more recently involved in it, you see, than I am. I mean, it's a very long time ago I was doing it, so. Airbrush Trust care is essential if you wish to keep it working. Okay. Overspraying in airbrushing is the downside to owning one. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, overspraying with inks or over over uh, painting on the gel plate is also a downside. So it's something you learn with doing, right? Um, Carrie, do you have a video on anything you've done with airbrush? Did you ever do that on video? I'm I really I'm serious. It's I don't need another tool, but that would be a cool one, don't you think? Oh yeah. I did like it. I did like it very yeah. much. So let's have a go. Me too. I'm so glad you caught alive with us too. I'm so glad you're all here. With sweet treats. This is Tiffany Blue Lou. Tiffany Lou Blue. Sorry. Hi Eddie. You're not late. You're always right on time. You might have missed mm -hmm. something, but you already missed one. Okay. Oh, I like that one. I remember that one from the other day. Here we are. Wipe my nose. I would suggest that next, Evie. Hmm? He said, what? Carrie, have you ever airbrushed a cake? I bet. I'll bet he has. Yeah. The man is talented. That's probably what he got it for in the first place. Mm -hmm. See, I already want to break out. I only have like five things of, of uh, sprays, Lindy's sprays, and then I have some homemade ink inky sprays that I've played with. And I really enjoyed it, but I never did it this way. I did it. I spritzed on glass and drip drops on, on a piece of glass, and then I pulled it up with cardstock. Milk chocolate brown. Oh, yeah, Carrie, I, I understand. Um, 
if I were doing something like this with an airbrush, I would definitely put it down in a box or outside or in the basement. Yeah, I, yeah, it would definitely be in an enclosed situation for the airbrush overspray. Oh, okay, Paula. Fish Paula? Mm -hmm. she she may what? have to go in about five minutes she's got a dinner date it's friday night oh, oh lovely paul hope you enjoy oh. it glad you can pop in yep. don't get a thumbs up on your way out <laughs> and carrie says he's airbrushed cakes and some of his fairy houses ooh, 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 ooh. no video lovely. oh carrie well, no, on well, the job, mate. <laughs> he has a good reason it's actually a very good reason, no videos, as he never wanted to expose his camera to an airbrush because of the overspray. Very good thought, yes. Very good point, yeah. This one has decided to leak. So I'm just cleaning up a bit. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Welcome, welcome. So no video on um, air spraying, but how about, um, do you have a video that show and tell of your fairy houses and any of your cakes or both or an updated one, something you could do? Maybe not. Hmm? Seems to want to. That's too much to ask, I'm sure. Well... Uh, I had something nice the other day. What was that one? Where did I put that? Uh, not that one. Not that one. No. It yeah, like it's got, cider. Looks like you've got gold frames down. Mm. Well, I like the mold cider, so I'm going to have a go with some of that as well, because I don't feel this pink is quite punchy enough. Well, it's pink anyway. It's not a an orange but also because it doesn't none of these i don't think have any or not much um glittery stuff so i, I want to put a bit of this one down now you see it's got a whole lot more oomph to that da, 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 da. that's another way of doing it so you don't have to do it like this you can get the darn thing out so here we go. Uh, I've got it, Evie. There's the link to Carrie's studio tour where you can see his fairy houses. You don't have to go searching everybody. It's right there. There you go. There you go. And while you're over there, right. be sure to give him a thumbs up. I must have watched it yep. because I already did. Let me see what you've got there. This is quite wet where that one was, and it was bent, the first one, so it let colour underneath, but I don't care. To drag this one off to get it off, that's probably smudged it nicely. See, you guys give me all that credit. I'm not really that amazing. It's just that I wanted to know too, and I usually do. So hence, I, I off I go to, to find the information. And my job, my past job required research and good research. So I pretty much know trusted sites and places to go when I need to know something. But finding carry is easy. Come on. That's just easy peasy. Yep. Look at that. Okay. Now you can, now you can tilt and, and uh, I like that one. This one's got one inside as well. Okay, Carrie. Thank you. Is that it? He's got to go do some editing and uploading. Oh, okay. Bye-bye, Carrie. Thanks for popping by. So that's quite good. I'm not going to do too much with that. I rather like the way it is at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, letting that drip down a bit, but not too much because I rather like what it is. So I'll just put it down to... Well, what I could do, what I could do, mm. is take another sheet just to soak up any excess that's floating about, which obviously there is. 
Oh, you smoked it. I blotted a bit. Yeah, it might well do that. But not everywhere. Well, so that'll do. Here's the thing. You could also use that to sop up what's on the plastic down there. I know. That's why I've got it here like this. That's the next thing I was going to say. Well, Diane, if you get one, if anyone get, gets one, the, I think the crucial piece of information that Carrie gave is the overspray. So you'll want to do it in a dedicated area um, and be prepared for the spray to go, the particles to float around anywhere. So um, in a large box. I don't think I had a camera when I had an airbrush when I first had that. Yeah. I totally never thought of filming it. Put plastic down like Fran does. Just, just look at the overspray just from the spray she's using here. Well, that's quite nice anyway. That. Yeah, I like it. That was the creme brulee one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, let's put some. Let's put some blue coffee. on. It. No, I want to put some coffee things down. Oh. Things is good. Well, I, I didn't. If I I when we were in the dungeon having our play date with Anne and uh, Kirsten, um, I don't think anyone else came in. I thought about that. Did anybody else come in? I don't remember. I, I had a feeling someone else came in but didn't stop long. Did Trish come Maybe in? I was confusing Trish. that with Kirsten. Trish, did you come in? And, and uh, I mean, that was two days ago. I've slept since then. Didn't Trish, didn't you pop in? Or maybe it was Evie. Oh, I don't know. But anyway, um, we were talking about, I was talking to Anne about her uh, color box. No, it wasn't Trish. Okay. So I thought somebody else came in for just briefly. Um, we were talking about Anne got those two color boxes for her birthday. And I was telling my husband about them. I said, honey, that's what I should have told you to get me. And he said, so go get them. And I'm like, this is how much it costs. He says, I don't care. Go get them. Okay, okay. If you want them, go get them. Okay. If it's that easy, can I have that and the air gun? <laughs> as long as we're giving things to me. Well, I seem to have lost some of my round circles. I don't know. Uh-oh, you just had them. Well, I've only got three, four now. You took but them off. I can use... left. Wait a second. You picked yeah, them up. Off the... put them... Yeah, took them off to... To the left and them... put them on the, on the trolley. Huh? Did I? No. No, they're not on there. Oh, actually, Trish... Um, we hadn't planned it and we didn't send out okay. invites or anything. There's no way to do that. It just happened that Kirsten popped in and it's like, oh, that was fun because, of course, she's way over there and later time zone. And then um, Ann popped in and Ann stayed with us till the end. That was fun. Yeah. We had good fun. So if, if, if you see us in there, we'll let you know. We'll kick you out if we don't like you. There we go. Okay. I don't think there are any more. But <clears throat> it was fun. What's that? Heidi Swap T. Heidi Swap T. Let's have a look. He's a good person, Miriam. And if, if it means he doesn't have to go shopping and try to find something for me and get the wrong thing, the, he's happy. Although he's given me some wonderful gifts with by surprise. All right, Trish, next time for sure. This is rather nice, this one, emerald. It's um, a color bloom one, but I haven't got much of it left. Very little left in there. So I must have really liked that one. <clears throat> I have to ask you use all these different um, inks, sprays from, well, you have Tim Holtz, you have Color Bloom, you have uh, Seth After, and I know you named a few others just 
to say. Yeah. Do you have favorites? Are there reasons for, are they, how different are they? What makes them different? Well, I've gone right off cadence because three of their bottles wouldn't work. The Lindy's, I like the Lindy's because they pretty much do work whenever you want them. And they, you can get flat sprays or you can get the starburst ones or you can get the moon dust ones. And the moon dust ones have the brown tint in them, which is nice. I like the Seth Aptus because they're such lovely colours. Yeah. Like, not down here, let's have a look. Oh, well, here's a nice cream yeah. from Seth Aptus. It's underwater. Let's right. Try that one. Don't need to shake it. There's no mica in it. There you go. Lovely. Yeah. I, I know if there's mica in it, then you've got your particles in there and you want to shake it. Yeah. That's the one where, where your sprays could become a bit clogged. That's why I somewhere got a, a collection of uh, different nozzles to hopefully transfer to a wonky one and get it moving. So I like this one particularly. Coffee, I've got two of these. This is another Seth Aptor one. Um, Trish, here, here's what I say. If there's no pictures, it didn't happen. Diane wants to know if that one back there was Prima. Can you be more specific? I think it was the one Bloom. No, the one the that, that you called oh, that one. Is that a Prima? Uh, yes, Prima. Yeah. Prima. Emerald spray mist. Color Bloom. Okay. I have a few of those. I like their um, method of stopping the thing from spraying. you just got that on there so you can't move the trigger by mistake which is great bloom yes i yes. also so i like the seth aptors i also like the um these ones just let me grab one for you you said you like the lindy's yeah these ones deco art media now these are a bit different because these are acrylic sprays so when they are dry they don't move anymore, and you can do things over them, and they won't smudge or smear. Ah. That's great. This, this, this is what's the thing, and it looks to me like my top is rather dirty, so I don't know if this is going to work. Yes, it does. All right, then. Let's, in that case, wipe the top just to be sure. So then my scientific type question is, um, for the mica sprays, if you have to shake it and the, because the mica can clog the nozzle, then my question is, what is the purpose of the mica if it goes through the nozzle and clogs? Does it actually come out at yeah. any point and hit the paper? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So then, Definitely. So then the next thing is it comes out as a particle, right? Yes, as particles, little so, mica. So you get shimmer on your work. Like so this one is one okay. of those. So why couldn't you? Mixed. Why can't they just give you the particles separate from the ink? You put the ink down, you sprinkle the particles down, and there you go. No clogged spray. Don't know. But they they spend a lot of money, I guess, on. Um, All right, Chris. I uh, Hi, Julie. What's the word? Design and thingy. T and D. Dean something. Anyway, they, they have just teams uh, working on the the type of spray they use, the type of nozzle, the type of um, uh, uh, tube they put in, the size of the mica they're using. They they look into this quite a lot. So pretty much it it you know some of it works quite nicely. I like these because I can do those rather like the Tim Holtz ones and I can do them a little bit and get a little bit out and do them full down and get a lot yeah, of colour. Right. Why is that not going down? There's something underneath. Get out of the way. Come on. Out the way, you. You're in the way. But that did anybody notice the, um, so many came in after we started. Did anybody notice the thumbnail for today's stream? Yes. Anybody seen the thumbnail and wondered what's going on with that? 
you know, if y'all came in after the stream started, you obviously didn't see it or probably didn't see it. I don't know. I just wondered if anybody saw the thumbnail. Where'd it go? Somebody just arrived at your door. I heard a motor. Right. I think my neighbor had somebody with a motorcycle and they just left. And you heard uh, it. I heard it too. That'll be it then. So you didn't see the thumbnail. Okay. Then we won't mention it. We'll just leave it for next time. Mm, no, I'm not keen on that. Keen on what? Leaving it for next time? Leaving it till next time. No. You want me to show it? Yes. I could go and get some Tim Holt sprays while you did that. <laughs> yeah, before I do that, I want to remind everyone that we will not be streaming Monday. Fran has a uh, procedure on Monday, and I think she should take the whole day off, and she's agreed. So um, it's an in-out procedure, but it's not going to be a fun procedure, so we will not see. Um, we may consider making it up by having a stream on Wednesday, which we haven't been doing, so um, we haven't really discussed it. But we may make it up and have a stream on uh, Wednesday. Monday, we won't be here, though. So it'll be a very long weekend for us. Research and development. R&D. That was it. Yeah, that was something. So she wants me to show it. It's, a, it's actually a picture that my husband took. But I put it in Photoshop and, and turned it into a black and white. Removed all the color turned it into a black and white uh come are you just gonna talk and, about it i'm just gonna talk about it come <laughs> on <laughs> and uh i turned it into a there and i turned it into a black and white sketch um i forget where the flowers were but well, uh, i'll be back in a minute <clears throat> so for my birthday that woman that just left got me these for my birthday and i'm as using her word, I'm chuffed. The Derwent Ink Tents. And they are fabulous. So I've been using them. And she's been encouraging me and helping me along to learn the, how to use them correctly. And to learn shading and shadowing and coloring. And this is one of the things we talked about in our, uh, a um, when we were in the room in Facebook Wednesday with uh, Kirsten and Ann, I was doing this. So, yeah, we were talking about doing something on shading and shadowing. That's what it was because I'm not very, very, very good at that. It's not something I've done a lot of. Ink tents, yes, they are. Let me pull them up. And they're a beautiful set for botanicals. So, they're the different ink tents, ink pencils. And they're Fabulous. I'm just saying they are fabulous. They are all beautiful colors. There's a, a color swatch of them all. And this is just cardstock. This isn't even watercolor paper. But I'm having so much fun using the uh, the way to put them down. I started out on a piece of copy paper doing this. Just fiddling, doing doing lines of designs and moving the watercolor, but it's copy paper. So it's kind of, blech. so then I had, I remembered I had this printed out on cardstock and I started working with it. So that's the thumbnail you'll see at the end of the, uh, or at the beginning of the stream. So if you want ink, if you want to learn, I'm telling you, these things are diggity bomb, diggity bomb. They are awesome. Thank you, Fran. Thank you, thank you. Excellent. It's, it's really lovely. Uh, you, did you tell them what I said when I saw it? I said I was chuffed. What did you say? I said I thought it was something out of a book. It looked so good. An illustration out of a book. Nope. It's a picture uh, I took somewhere of some flowers yeah. that attracted his, his eye, and I put it in Photoshop and removed all the color and left it as a black and white print, and I've just been learning. So if you look, if you look, this one is well done. This one, I, I, this one is quite heavily well done. 
This one here, I left some marks in that I didn't want to move the paint. I wanted to highlight it. This one is a splotch. That's the first thing I did. Look at it. Okay, so it's a, it's a fading leaf. There you go. It's a dying leaf. This one is the second one I did. And you could, you could see the difference in my, the lights causing a problem. You could see the difference. In, I could see the difference in uh, heaviness of the paint, how much, how much I put in, how I moved it. Then I went from that one to this one, and I feel like I got a little bit better. This one, I feel like I got better. This one, I've put down the marks, but I haven't put the water down yet to move it. So, it's You know that once you put the marks down and, and um, put the water down and moved it about, you can then let that dry and then do some more on top. I could, and I did, because I did these greens here. And then I uh -huh. came back and put yellow over it. Yeah. But I'm working with cardstock, and I don't know if you could see the paper. I'm sure you can't see. The paper started coming up here. Oh, so right. there's only, and that was after it dried. Uh -huh. So there's only so much water I can put on this to move it. Yeah. But on watercolor paper, that's what I will learn next. Yeah, I was thinking you need to go up to watercolor paper if you're going to do things like that. Yeah. Yep. Hi, Carla. Abby is a great shader. Hmm. That's something we could do in the dungeon. There you go. Okay. I'm 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 leaving now. I'm leaving. Bye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fun stuff. Okay. So. Fun stuff. So we'll we'll hope that she'll be doing another one of those soon because that was lovely, absolutely lovely. Thank so you. I've taken all the things off. To see what we've got and this is what we've got it's quite Thanks. nice and it's just it this is just making backgrounds but you can see how some things or i can see how some things leave a pattern even if it's not even if it, even if it's only subtle oh, off there off go on off go on that's better he was lying on one of the things i put to dry uh oh ah, doggies yeah so you can get this sort of patterning from the spray when you've got a plain color down first and then one with mica in or one that you spray a bit less all encompassingly just lighter you know like some of them you can press a little bit and get a, a splatter out these are the ones i got out by using the end of the um tube bringing it out you could do the same with um something like a one of those little pipettes use those as well so that one. Oh, I'm sorry. And we'll get another one. And you're asking about which color, uh, which sprays I like and why. Well, another lot I like are the Tattered Angels because um, I just love the variety of the colors uh, uh, that I've managed to get of those. I didn't think I'd be able to get very many because they're American ones and they don't seem to be sold all that or didn't seem to be sold all that often here. But I got some um uh, sets from one of the tv places that sell craft stuff i think it was at that time hochanda that's changed to be called something else like hobby maker or something or craft store or something like that one of those uh and also uh i managed to get some from somebody on ebay who was selling off their stash so i managed to get quite a few sprays in in a deal there that was lovely oh i remember that um yeah so oh, that's why I like that is because I got some lovely stuff. Some of it is sort of discontinued, so you never see it again. But some of the colours are really good. I like them. And Mary, the other ones I like, I'm going to show you now. And that is these Tim Holtz Distress. Now, you've got two sorts in the Distress. You've got... You've got your Distress Spray Stain, say that after you've um, had a few, and yeah. you've got the Distress Oxide Spain, Spray, <laughs> Distress Oxide Spray. They're both wilted violet, and one of them is like an ink, and the other one is like an ink with some powdery Mike. stuff in it. I don't th think it's mica. I think it's actually... Um, a paint, an oxide paint that oxidizes in the air. Ooh. That they advertise it as that. So anyway, here we go. Uh, uh, distress, distress, 
spray stain wilted violet. And they do work every time. Oh. And you can, so you can put down your so put down Yeah, put down your circle. Make a galaxy like you did the other day. Ooh. Oh, that oh would, you mean like? Like a mask instead of a circle. Yeah. I like that purple. That that will soak up some anyway. That. Yeah. Move those out the way. And there's another one. So we won't have the squares. We'll just have the... That's what I said, Miriam. Miriam says it's like an, an outer space picture with part of the air station antenna showing. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, Fran, put down a circle, make a galaxy picture, because that's what she was doing. And it was beautiful. There we go. So we'll wipe it down. Put it down. And, and Eddie the agrees. Now the upside you must take up. It's got a little bulb in it. Uh, I should have printed out two lots, cut two lots of the circle ones. Do one to one side. Okay. All right, let's put that up there, see if it will suck down onto the. It will. Good. And then I can put that one there. That's Oops. So. So we that can add it take... to it. Julie says she loves that sound. Is that the sound of, of, of spray and shaking or my noisy keyboard? <laughs> ooh, ooh, don't put it back. Leave that little uh, halo. Ooh, too late. You can't put it back anyway. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so there you go. So that's all purples. So let's see what else we've got down in the uh, lots of lusciousness. What have we got here? We've got shabby shutters. Oh, and shabby shutters. How about that? <laughs> That's amazing, picking up both of them. The upside and the distress. I thought the first one was a flipping miracle. I seem to have done it again. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I'm learning. I think it's fun to learn these, how to put, how to use the, um, friends have been watching me do the watercolors, playing with my watercolors. So that's what motivated her to get the pencils. She wanted to drive me crazy. <laughs> it worked. Dear me. It put me right over the edge where water, it's a, it's a whole new way to lay down watercolor. It's. Oh yeah. Eddie says, that's a great drag name, Shabby Shutter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Great drag name. Of course, if you say it too fast, you might end up with Shabby, sh um, a word I can't say out loud. <laughs> because so I'm trying to do little bits here. which is a Tim Holtz um, thing that I first saw Tim Holtz do, but I've used it with loads of sprays, not just his. <laughs> and that's, you sort of hold the, you sort of hold the thing there and then you, you can put your finger down to where your thumb is. So you only take it down a little bit. But, so you've got to move your thumb because it didn't work the first time. Well, it's basically just like drips. So can't you just pull the nozzle <laughs> out and let it drip? Well, yeah, but you get a better spray if you can spray it as drips. You can pull it out and get a, a splotch or two like that, but it's not quite the same. And keep keep it, I like it. Keep in mind that that yeah. circle way up there that you're spraying, that's a mask. That won't even show up on the end. <laughs> oh, look at the dendritic movement. Oh. I put it down after I put the first lot of Nouveau purple down. No, it wasn't Nouveau, was it? It was the Tim Holtz, the Wilted Violet Distress Spray Stain. Yes. So I'm going to add a little bit more to that with 
a seedless preserves. Just because I want to. I like the names. I love the names as well. I mean, I, I'm, I swear he caught me more with the names than anything else. Oh. She's gone mad. Loving this, loving this. Going to be loved. Yes, Rufus was trying to add his, he was, you're a little behind Lisa. I don't know if you realize that, but yes, Rusef, Rufus was trying to lay on one of the prints and add his own creativity to it. Mm -hmm. I didn't really want a dog's bottom print on my <laughs> <laughs> So I told him to push off. <laughs> <coughs> so I think that's about as much as I want to do to that. So... I have a question because my... <laughs> When I look at this now, it's still wet and it has this beautiful sheen that comes through and I love it. But when it dries, it kind of goes matte. So yeah. can you well, is there a, spray mica? Is there is there a sealer or a varnish you could put on it to bring that sheen back, that glossy like uh like um I have some Oh, I can't think of the name of it. It's a jar of stuff upstairs that, but it's it's not so much like a um, varnish as it is a uh, sealant, like a. Spectrafix. Words are hard. <laughs> Spectrafix. No, it's not that. I'd have to run upstairs to to look. But you know what I mean. Something like if you could put down, like a spray. Uh, seal it varnish well there is also that wouldn't move it out because I wasn't going to use them which are where did I put them I took them out and I put them somewhere else practice Julie practice practice once you let all that dry you can seal it and then you can try doing things like um, there's a pearlescent there you could try a bit of that on it Oh, or um, well i didn't not really a fixative julie although anything would be a fixative i meant if you look at it right now or when she first puts it down the wet ink has a shine yeah well you need to put gloss on it uh i yep. would um one way of doing it would be to put gloss medium on your gel plate and put this down oh. and pick up the gloss medium that's oh yeah i don't there are some gloss sprays, clear gloss sprays that you can spray. But you'd have to do that outside. Because if, uh, if you brought back one of the prints that you did Wednesday that are dry. Yeah. Um, they kind of went matte. Yeah, they went matte. Oh, yeah. have some sparkle in it. Yeah. And that's fine. Some of them that went matte, they're still beautiful. But there's a few. There's one back there, I think. I don't know if you showed it. That... Or like this one, if you could just leave it shiny like that, wow. Well, that one's got a bit more shine to it, but yeah, you could, like I said, you could put matte medium on the gel plate and pick it up again. <clears throat> we might have a go with that. That's a good idea. To put matte medium. Well, that like one would be quite good with it, I think. Yes, yes. See, that's one that needs a. a more shine the others i think because there's so much mica in them that the going flat really wasn't a problem wasn't an issue yeah but yeah. that one yeah that one i could see use that one for uh do a mm -hmm. we might be doing that well one. i'm fond of this one so we could but it's got some nice bits in it so we could try that on the gel plate see if it will do it Okay, it and then the next question is, if you do put the matte medium down and it does the job, let's say it all works out, can you do anything after that to the print? Um, can you put more sprays down? Would it stick? Sure. Um, or Not sure how much it would stick on a uh, gloss one. Right. But um, I should think something like... <clears throat> Like the, 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 where to put it? Like these would, because they are acrylic. Okay. And you're putting it onto matte medium acrylic. 
okay. acrylic matte mixing. So that'll probably work. The others, I'm not sure. It would be worth trying it to see. And then you know how P will embellish some of her prints when she's doing cards and, and ATCs, how she embellish, embellishes with uh, the pencils and the mar and whatever else she uses, the, the, you know, more paint. Yeah, um, if you wanted to do that, I think you'd have to dull it down again with something like the um, <clears throat> uh, Montmartre um, uh, clear texture gesso because that has some grit in it, some um, texture in it. So it will, that's what she uses when she wants to get the pencil to work again, you know, when she's, yeah. the pencil is getting too shiny. So she puts that on, doesn't she? Yeah. Okay. I'm writing, that would work. Down. I'm writing it down. Thank you, Julie. The glaze, I didn't think of a uh, of glaze. Gloss medium or glaze. Yeah, a glaze would work because it's the same sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did Liz say? Matte medium will dull it. Right, that's exactly. I wouldn't have, that, that goes without saying, Liz. Yeah, it would have to be the gloss medium. But I was just wondering. Let's say in case somebody didn't know. Gosh. Yeah, um, and, and, and I was just wondering, if you do use the gloss medium, um, what can you apply after that for embellishing? as far as paint or colors so that's a okay so i got well down. i should think other things would work on it i'd have to go back to look at paint because i know she but again if that. you find that something isn't staying or sticking then you can use the uh texture clear texture gesso to give it some grain to give it some tooth oh. is the word i'm looking for tooth see and i forget about that too Okay, see, this is what happens oh. when, when I watch uh, Patricia and Mariah and I don't take notes on it and then I don't remember the notes. Um, I'm going to put this one down now because it's looking really nice and I want to keep it like that. Because that's a good one <coughs> that, that, that I should have written I'm down. Sorry. Julie, I have fun when you're when, with your autocorrect, so don't fix it. <laughs> What the heck? Uh-oh. That's you. Somebody phoning me. Dear me. What a time to pick. <clears throat> right. I'm going to soak up some of this stuff with another sheet. There's a small sheet I can soak things up with. Oh, I don't really want to do that. There. Well, I've got some other bags on us, all right. <coughs> oh, sorry. Let's take a sip. So just soaking it up, see if we get anything nice. So I've got lots around the edges. <clears throat> so what now? So I think now I put this down the other way up because it's warping that way and I want to de-warp it a bit. <clears throat> so what else? Oh, we've got that one. That's uh, underwater, which is quite nice. Oh, I like that. Okay, I took my notes. I wrote it down. I think that side is the side. That's the side without the gesso. And that's the side with, I think. That could be why it's warping. But never mind. It doesn't matter. You can always put it under some books when it's dry. I 
if I put that a bit more over there and put that there, see what I get. Oh, that one might be a bit better. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> so, Harvest Moon. That's a, uh, uh, let's see, who, who's the guy that sings Harvest Moon? I love that song. Uh, Neil. Um, Diamond? No. Russell. Russ loves Neil Diamond. We both do. Sadaka? No. No, he's uh, Neil Young. He played with uh, uh, Cosby Stills and Ashton Young, but by himself. He does uh, Harvest Moon, and I listen to it every now and then, over and over on YouTube. <clears throat> Aw, Evie. My husband had two knee replacements, and, I, and I'm and i pretty sure he did some uh, exercises and uh, stuff to lose some weight before he could have it done. Ooh, sounds nasty. But those other things, the, the injections and the ablation, those are good, too. This is Ominous Twilight. I like oh, it. Yeah, I like that, just by the name. In fact, I think you used that the other day. I did, in fact. I did. thought it sounded familiar. Yeah, Ominous Twilight. It's one of the Tim Holtz Distress Stain little ones. <clears throat> the Distress Mica Stain. Beg its pardon, because it's got mica in it. So, what else have I got that I have not used yet? Well, I'm Close wondering your eyes. if I could maybe do that. Close your eyes and pick one random. Be brave. <laughs> that worked. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it works on this as well. Well, and I said if you if the ink was still wet and you put it down, it would pull it up. I like that. Oh, I like that. Where's so your egg you cart? Get your egg carton before it dries. I like the bottom of the egg carton. Oh, maybe it's too wet or too dry. Well, I think there's, they've already put the patterns in the wettest place yeah. with the other thing. Yeah. I'm a bit like, there we go. Do Pine needles. Distress oxide, pine needles. See, this was the piece of cardboard I cut out of the piece that I had been using as a print, mm -hmm. as a receptacle for print. So it's gone all soggy now, that one. But I can still use this one because this was cut out of Tyvek. So well, we can put it there. That other one is now a nice piece to use in collage in your botanicals or something. Oh, yeah. I like those colors. I keep misplacing my bit of tissue because I keep putting other things on top of it. Do that a lot. What did you just put down? That greenish? That greenish bluish? Pine needles oxide spray. Pine needles, yeah. You used that the other day too. Oxide spray. I tell you how I know is because I have a long list of all the colors you went through the other day. Iron well, gate. I'm it's over here now. Fallen acorn. That, that's what I'll do. Empty tomb. Frosted juniper. Yep, I've still got those here. Peppermint stick. Winterberry. Unraveled. Mull cider. 
Did I say Iron Gate? Iron Gate. Ominous Twilight. It is, isn't it, Evie? Do you have any sprays, Evie? I don't. Ha I have like uh, one set of Lindy's that I've never used. I mean, I'm trying to stay focused to and learn with the watercolors. So, but Fran is leading me astray. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a rotten beast. First, I give her a plaything, and then I won't let her play with it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, let me, tell me this. If I did something like this with the sprays, let's just say I did this with the sprays. Could I come back with the ink tents? Of course you could. Would it work over and not activate the sprays when I got it wet? No, uh, that would not work unless you were using um, what sprays were you thinking of using? I only have the Lindy's. The Lindy's, they would reactivate, I believe. Not very much, but they would a bit. I guess it's a try. I need to go try it and find out. I could yeah, I think you need to try it. I yeah. don't think they activate as much as others. Well, I got Frosted Juniper. Yeah, that's on the list. Liz says she oh, just got a new Mica once today and she can't wait to play. Did get them out, get your paper out, and have it's that. Fun this is fun. Eddie, no flurries. Your autocorrect just doesn't work today. Nobody does. It never does, does it? Yeah. She says she has some sprays um, she hasn't used in a while. Timmy's mice from two years ago. Pretty sure she met Micah. But, uh -huh. yeah. but mice sounds pretty cool, too. <laughs> How Timmy's about mice. How about a um, a winterberry or a, you got a pink or an orange or a red to drop in there? Or winterberry. That... Oh, there you go. Winterberry. I like that from the other day. Um, peppermint stick. Yep. But, one. Not very pale, but the peppermint stick would work, I think. There you go. I might use a little bit of that because it, it's dark, so maybe. And of course, I've got the mull side there. Well, let's see how those work. Can we put these down again? So let's have the winterberry around that one. In which case, I really want to move this further over here. <laughs> That's what I thought, Miriam. Oh. Tim has mice. <laughs> Tim holds mice, yes. so difficult with that hand because that arm hurts <clears throat> that's better come on get the last little drop oh i would use my vortex but i've got loads of tapes sitting on top of it yeah i figured it was very castle tape i need to find my red ink pen because nope not the red one Oh, yeah, it's in, okay. Because you used some golden light phthalo green the other day, uh, last week, Monday, I think it was. And I loved that. And I made myself a note to get some. It was a good color, that wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it was. That's going, yeah. that's totally going back over to the acrylics. That's not even to do with today. But I just no, told you. Light phthalo green, golden. Yeah, I, I just saw the note to myself, and I want to highlight it so I don't forget. So it goes down. Okay. I didn't mean to change the subject or speaking out loud. Oh, apparently I have more than that. I also have turquoise phthalo and iridescent copper. And, well, all right. We're just. Good. Good. Let's right. right to win the lottery. Husband needs to win the lottery. <laughs> oh, I like that. All right. Hi, Penny, in the background. And Carrie's back. Thank you, Carrie. Um, Penny has a suggestion for you. Yeah. She says, if you sprinkle, 
If you sprinkle the oxides with water, they will change colors and oxidize. Yeah, I know. I'm just not doing it at the moment. I'm just too busy spraying oh. through all of these. Oh, I see. Okay. Do you have to do it while they're still wet, or you, can you come back later while they're dry? I can come back later. All right. I got to write this down. Penny needs a shorter last name. That's a lot of letters. Kit Miller said, sprinkle oxides with water. Hmm. That's better. That's better. That's looking lovely. I like that. <clears throat> that one, not so much because it kept moving. Okay. Oh, never mind. It's, it's good enough. Good enough. They will change colors and oxidize. Mm -hmm. I'll have to do one on on Tim Holtz um, stuff, you know, because I've got a I've got a little um, book over here which I can see the feet of. It's underneath lots of things, but I can see the ribbons of it, and that has lots of different um, techniques for using Tim Holtz sprays. Because I did it at a workshop. Uh, this is beautiful. Hold it closer towards your paints. Don't not closer to the camera, but there you go. That's beautiful. I love that. So, don't you have a spray bottle of water that you always keep handy? Uh, yeah. Okay, just saying. <laughs> well, I've got loads of the mica sprays on there now. Okay. Hold still. Let me see. Okay, I could see the dots when you use that. Well, I did have a spray of water somewhere. So it works whether they're wet or dry. That's an alcohol one. I can't use that one. Thank you, Penny. I can't even find a water spray. I've got alcohol. That's no good. No, you can't use that. So here's the thing. I'm writing this down, but you know what's going to happen. Something's going to happen down the road. Oh. I'll forget. I'll ask the question and I'll ask it again. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Nobody's perfect. And one. Okay, let's see. What? So what do, what do you mean by oxidize? It's already wet, you see. It's, it's easier to do on a separate sheet. Than on one that's got so much going on on it uh, already. Yeah. So let me put that down over there. Let's get another sheet. Well, you have the one you didn't like that from Wednesday. Well, you liked it, but not so much. Would that still? Oh, I don't know where that is now. Would you be able to? Already act? lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Rufus Too took late. off with him. Too late. Good thing I don't take notes of the silly comments we make. <laughs> Wilted Father is quite dark, so I don't think I'm going to lead that one. What's that? No. Okay, let's try this one. That was, uh, sorry, that was um, brushed corduroy distress oxide. And this is tea dye distress oxide. Ah, uh, so you can stamp with it and do that too. Okay. Okay. I like this. I liked when you tilted it and sprayed too. It made it kind of run give it tendrils 
Oh, Carrie says, that's a nice trick. He says he normally flicks the water off his fingers onto the paper to create the droplets. Mm -hmm. You can do it with a pipette as well. I usually do that to my husband. <laughs> oh, I like that. Right. Well, that's I three wrote, different colors on there. Give me something to play with. So let's dry it first, and we can see what happens. Because it's much easier to see then, I find. Uh, I'll mute for this. Look at those colors. Don't you just love those colors? Hi, Kirsten. We've been talking about you. Weren't your ears burning, Kirsten? We were talking about you were in the the dungeon with us the other day, and we had so much fun. Right. Well, uh, most of that is dry. There are one or two splotches that aren't, which no doubt you can see, sort of like that one. Okay, Trish, thank you for being here. I'm so glad the shot is helping. Let's try it with the dribblies first. With the dribblies. With the drippy droppies. And then I'll try the spray. Say hi to Kirsten. Hi, Kirsten. Her ears must have been burning. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about you. <laughs> yep. There you go. So I put some water on there. <clears throat> now, if you leave it, it'll spread out a little bit, but not much. But if you heat it up, then you keep the shapes you've got, which is quite nice. Well, just so you know, your your this dryer, this air heat. There's a word. What's the word? Say the word. Heat gun. It's not well, that loud. Your heat gun is not that loud. Oh, it isn't. It's not okay. Well, that this is the quieter one. Yes. But I didn't want to drag everybody out with it. Call it white noise. Look at the drippy drops. Very cool. Hi, Lydia. And of course, you can do it with something else as well. Thank you, everyone, for the thumbs up. For instance, it would be, you know what? I'm going to be a beggar. It would be lovely if you came back or stayed after the stream cycled and left us a comment down below. That helps. Um, France count on YouTube. I don't know how all the words for it, but you know what I mean. 
um, if you came back, I try to leave comments wherever I go. Try to leave some kind of comment more than. Um, right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Did you use stamps the other day when we were in the room? I can't remember. I might not have. I Off you go. Go on. It's standing on ink. I'll so. Thank you, Miriam. Yeah. Okay, Evan. Okay. Uh, well, Trish has already put me on a project this weekend. I've already agreed to a, a project, which is a very minor project, but she's already given me a to-do list. Ha <laughs> ha. The hardest part will so be... Can you see that stamp showing up there? Nope. Not to me. I don't know if anybody else can, but I've lost it. I well, let's try with a different one that might show a bit better. I saw it when you put it down, but now I don't. Yeah. No there. Well, let's try again with this one. Evie, the hard part for me will be to get my butt out of my chair, out of the house, and down to the post office, which I may avoid if I use uh, pirate ship and just let them pick it up from the house. Let me see. Okay, not so much. That did not work. <clears throat> um, now I'm seeing your stamp. I'm seeing squiggles. Yep, it's, it's a small le uh, text stamp. Yeah, now I'm seeing it. You just need cardstock, right? Huh? It's just cardstock. Yeah, that didn't show up so well. So it's there. I can see it, but I don't think you can. It's quite okay, Evie. You go delicate. You go, that's all right. You go, go take care. It's all right. Um, Carrie has a suggestion. If you stamp with water, wait a couple of minutes, then blot it off to lift the ink. Oh. Okay. All right, we go. We'll be mad. I have done this one now, so I will put this on, see if that makes a mark. <clears throat> I'm thinking every Monday or Tuesday, we'll see, because um, I can create a room too. I could see it now, Fran, what you just stamped. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't stay when you, when you dry it. Dry it, yeah. It goes clear. It is there. I can see it, but it's pale. So what did what was Carrie talking about then? Stamp with water, wait a couple of minutes, then blot it off to lift the ink. A couple of minutes, couple of seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, that that one. Yeah, the other one. Let me show you. Okay. Let me do it with this one. Yeah. Where's the water gone? Oh, there it is. Don't dry it. Don't dry it with the blow dryer. No. Blot it no. Off when it's no, it's different. It's, we do it like that. Give it a few seconds and then blot it off while it's still wet. And then you get a piece of tissue. Okay. Okay. Here we go. And then you. And what do you get? Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. That shows up a little better. Yeah. I see it. See? Yeah. So, so we can do the same with. What was that? Well, what happened? I'm. I'm just trying to find the usefulness of it. Oh, sorry. I thought you dropped something. No, no. Russ just came in the door. I think you heard the door. Ah. Uh, so I put English countryside there. So let's do it again above it. All right. So you're not and putting ink down, are you? No, I'm putting water. So you're just using water. Okay. Okay. So basically, you're reactivating that ink again and then pulling off the ink. Yeah. 
So it's showing up better than the other one did, although that one's got a bit more. Hmm. Yeah. But that showed up much better than this one did. That one did. Lovely. What else have I got in there? I did, Kirsten. So no, it's just water, water, Julie. It's just straight, plain water. That's why I saw because the green, the, but that's from the ink being reactivated, I presume. It's because the uh, oxides reactivate there the water. Go. That's an oxide thingy. So let's try this one. I'm always inclined to put too much water on. I shouldn't do that. It should just be a, a haze. Let me try again. Who said? Somebody said, do you have a... Oh, Julie wants to know, do you have a stamp of an insect? That would be cool. That would be cool. No, I don't have a stamp of an insect here. She I didn't think I was going to be using stamps. Yeah. So I didn't have any ready. Insect. You could stamp an insect. Uh-oh. Guess who's back, Fran? Yep. Has he got a bee or something? Is, he? Is that what he said? Yeah. Man, eh? You know, I can barely see it now. Liz says I don't put enough on. we'll remove like that. I do like it now that I can see it coming through. I could see it as an as like an embellishment. I like that. So all you did there was reactivate the ink that was down. Yep. That was it. Okay, so Carrie has another idea. You can spray water through a stencil, lift the stencil, and then blot the water. There you go. That worked quite well. So you could take your circle. So it's, the same idea. it's like spraying through right. that. That yeah. with just water. Blot it up. Yep. Oh, you guys are so cool. Yeah. Give her more ideas. She's running out of ideas for doing stuff. I like this one, though. Really like this. Okay. Just means revisit your old ideas, really. Well, yeah. Indeed. Oh, yes. A ghostly face. So let me see. Tilt the. I think the face turned out better than that did. I didn't leave it long enough, possibly. I didn't want the edge. I didn't want to block that bit. <clears throat> That's all right, Carrie. We'll, we'll, we, we credit you for bringing them over from Timmy. So let's try one of them. A couple of them, maybe. He said these are not his ideas. They're straight from the desk of Tim Holtz. That's all right. Yeah. I've got a whole pamphlet full of them up there. I just can't get at them. But Timmy's not here. You are. So you get the yay. Thank you. It's lots of things you can do up there, loads of stuff. Just with these inks and water. Mm -hmm. Well, what, exactly. we're talking about any kind of ink well, or no, just no, the, with the Tim Holtz stuff, of course. Okay. Because Liz says any dye ink will remove like that. Uh huh. Well, it depends. I mean, this is not a dye ink, this is an um, acrylic ink, so that one won't. That's the Deco Art Media one, because it's yeah. an acrylic one. Hi, Mariah. Mariah's back now. She was hanging, taking pictures and doing stuff. Um, so there you go. Has some different things. Kirsten says, I'm afraid to buy Tim Holt in case there's no coming back. I think I'd get it. Yeah, back. it is a bit like that. Yeah. I, yep. I, I think I would do that. It would be more on my list. And unfortunately, he has such a lot of stuff on the market. It really does. Yeah. Well, actually, that is showing up a bit better now. That yeah, I see it. So, and I like the text above it. I must just got to take loads of things off the hook to get to it. Oh, hang on. Here we are. It's not as far down as I thought it was. There you go. Oh, distress techniques. Blended spritz and flick. <laughs> well, that's a cool little book. Blended background misted with mica. 
Well, pull it out. Let me see. What? A blended spritz and flick? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's the, just this that we were doing, you see? Okay. But it's a two colours blended with um, using a blending tool. To, grief, look at that. I like it. Go away. Stop yeah. looking at your hands. Show me some more of these cards you've done with blended the... background, blending two colors again. Or Come three, over here. I'm over here. I'm not out there. Misted with mica. So this one is actually with oh. mica. You can see that the, the dots down here are shiny. Oh, I like that one. Well, there you go. You've got examples all right there. Wrinkle free mica distress. Oh. I'm not sure I entirely understand that one. Evergreen bough, dusty concord, aged mahogany, and sprinkles of mica powder. The mica is enchanted gold. There you go. And what yes, else have we got in for the next one? We've got monotone watercolour. So that's stamping the image and then watercolouring it. Aha. Uh -huh. Which is what I've done. Well, I didn't stamp my image. My image came out of a printer. Yeah, same sort of idea, isn't it? That I, that I uh, messed with. Splattered stain background. That's those um, uh, Tim Holtz stains. I was going to say, turn it over. What did you use there? What colors did you use? You didn't write it down. No, I didn't write it down. I'm sorry. But it's pretty obvious. There's the orange, there's the green, there's the yellow, and there's the ready color. Yes. So oh, whatever okay. Tim Holtz colors are in those. But I don't have any of the stains, any of the um, paint stains. So I, because that's done with a dabber on the end of the bottle. So you just go plop, 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 plop. plop. That's it. I mean, really expert. Well, I got to say, so that's, a, that's a nifty little uh, uh, journal thing you've made there. Yeah, when we were doing all these different techniques, we made the journal to put them in. And you did this in a class? Yeah. Mica Distress Misted Background. This is the one we've just been doing here. Okay. Uh, for blended background, spice marmalade and seedless preserves, spray with water and mica, then dry, blend the edges with seedless preserves or spice marmalade areas and vice versa. Can we see it? There we go. So, it's the seedless preserves. That's the, what was the other one called? Something? Spice marmalade. That's the spice marmalade. And then the edges of the spice marmalade are blended with the seedless preserves and vice versa. So. And this one is wrinkle free distress. I wonder what you mean by wrinkle it's free. Wrinkle. Yeah, or is it sprinkle? I think it's wrinkle because the other one was wrinkle. That's dusty congord, evergreen bough, aged mahogany. Spray with water. Second time, sprayed with water and mica mix. Huh. Maybe you just don't want the card to wrinkle up, you know? Maybe that's why you do it two, in two goes. It was a long time ago. I can't remember it all. This is just lots of uh, tags left over in a pocket. And the last one says distress stain background. So that's doing the same distress stains as the splots, but doing them in a stripe. And then putting water on top to sputters so to. Yeah. See, and now I'm already in a remote background. I'm on this one. Why don't you have a, a journal like this for your own homemade inks with all these techniques? Mm -hmm. Right. Don't know. If I probably will one day. Um, this is um, two colors of uh, distress. One this side. This is before the oxides came out. So this is the distress stain. And one there. And you blend it together, probably from the ink pads rather than the sprays. Hold it and up. And then you put... Then you put mica on, and then you get a stencil, put the stencil on top, and then you lift out the mica with a damp tissue. That was beautiful. I think, I think that was how it was done. It's quite nice, quite a nice little stencil. I think it was by um, somebody 
either by Leandra or no, not that Leandra. Um, by the, uh, I think it was some of the uh, stencils from the shop that was ho hosting the demo. So I can't remember what they were. They were probably paparazzis because they sold a lot of paparazzi stuff. So it's quite possible. Nice but, journal. Yeah. yeah, it was fun, fun making. Mm -hmm. Yep. So there we go. That was that. I like this one that's showing on your table right now. I like what you did there. It's looking quite good, isn't it? I can't yeah. remember how they use the how we use the mica, whether the mica was just in a pot. But then there was mica that we sprayed. And I think what we did, a vague memory, I think we put water in a spray mister and put some mica in it. In fact, I've got a whole load of them that I made um, a stand for. The little thin mini misters, you know? Yeah. Um, just shake it up so, and then you spray it. So I think that's what it was when they said mica. But I, I think we made them then and there on the spot, you know? So it wasn't a, a something you bought. It was you bought the mica in the little tubs, you know, the little tubs of mica, yeah. and you just added it to water. I put a little spoonful in that one, and then put some water, fill it up with water with your pipette, and put the lid on, and then shake it like mad, and then spray, spray, spray. So yeah, I must get those down there up upstairs somewhere. I think. Ugh. No, I mustn't get them down. I've got too much down here already. <laughs> I was going to say, where? Where would you put them? <laughs> no, well, I think I'm about done now. I thought so. so I would kind okay. of like to say hello to my husband before he goes to bed. So that would be nice. Yeah. So, so I will come back. I'm going to thank everyone for being here. Thank you all for the thumbs up. If you get a, a, a second, drop us a line, a comment down below. We would love that after the show, even though you were here. Yeah. We the, yeah. the comments help. They really, really do help. Just try to go back for us, for Carrie, for, for Kirsten, for everybody. If you go back and leave a comment, be in chat, and then even still come back and leave a comment. It really, really helps us out a lot. So we appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Yeah. I'm coming back. And, and thank you very much for coming in in the first place. I really yes. appreciate that. Oh, we've gone funny shapes. There we go. And I've got my flowers up. Okay. Well, okay, okay. I don't right, know. Where we're, we're, we're still glad to have you here, even for a little while. Same as Trish and Evie and everyone who stopped in and had to go. Paula, thank you all. We do appreciate it. Yeah, we definitely do appreciate it very much. This is one of my favorite ones from the, yeah. um, I from the dungeon. I believe that was the very first one. And I said, put a circle down, make a galaxy, right? Kirsten? I think it was, yeah. Mm. Yep. I think so. And I think the circle we put down was a tub of some sort. Oh, it, it was, was that thing, wasn't it? That. It was your broken jar. That, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. yep. Absolutely. So there we are. You can use almost anything, even a broken jar. Yep. <laughs> okay. Fun. We'll say bye bye for now. And hope you enjoyed it. And don't yep. forget the thumbs up and all that stuff. And we'll see you again uh, on, well, probably on the next Friday. I don't know whether we'll be at the doing thing on Wednesday. We'll have to see about that. We'll okay, folks. See. We've got things. So we will see. We'll let you know. Okay. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye.